Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a numerical expression with very, very high powers. And I just wanted to use the 2024 and 2025 because we barely got into 2020. Wow, it's already February 10th. And maybe for some of you, it's 11th, right? We're like more than 1 12th of the way done. So to be able to simplify this expression, uh, we can do a couple different things, but I think one method that I'm going to use is going to use substitution because substitution is awesome. By the way, this is the second video for the day. So make sure to check out my other video. I made a transcendental equation, which I believe uh, either published or premiered, depending on if I can wake up at that time, uh, around uh, 6.30 Pacific time US. Anyways, so go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think. And this is going to be the second problem. So I'm going to keep it short. To be able to solve this problem, I'm going to go ahead and call this x, 2024, which means that 2025 is going to be x plus 1, right? So I'm going to go ahead and change color here because it's hard to see. Uh, so let's go ahead and call this x, and this will be x plus 1. And of course, this is x plus 1, and this is x, okay? 1 is going to stay as is. So now we have the following. We have x plus 1 to the 4th power plus x to the 4th power plus 1 divided by x plus 1 to the 2nd power plus x squared plus 1. All right? Let's go ahead and simplify this expression, see if we can come up with something nice. My goal is to come up with something simple, something factorable, so we can simplify things because we have a quartic divided by a quadratic. So I'm hoping that we'll get a simple quadratic at the end. And then we can plug in x equals 2024 so that our answer will be fairly, fairly simple at the end. Because as is, this is quite complicated, right? Time consuming at least. And I don't think Desmos can do it. Wolfram Alpha, I know, can do it. Anyways, those are different tools. Now let's go ahead and see what we can do. I'm going to expand it using the binomial theorem x to the fourth, 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 1. Remember the uh, Pascal's triangle binomial theorem plus x to the fourth plus one all over x squared plus 2x plus one plus x squared plus one. All right, let's go ahead and combine like terms x to the fourth plus 4x cubed. Actually, there's 2x to the fourth. So this one and this one. And then I got that one. And then plus 6x squared. And then plus 4x, right? Plus 2. And then all of that is divided by 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. Interesting. I came up with something really cool because we can numerate, I mean not numerate, we can uh, simplify or factor the numerator and the denominator. Let's do it. And now this is going to give us the following. And 2 here will give us x squared plus x plus 1. And then cancel out the 2s of course. And now you're thinking, how am I going to simplify this? Well, one of the methods that you probably wouldn't use, but you can if you want it, if you don't have any other choice, is long division or polynomial division. Divide x squared plus x plus 1 into that. So that's a really long process, especially with something like this. Sorry about the order in which you write things because that's how we do it in the United States. Uh, but, uh, you know, I know that some countries do it differently, like Turkey. x squared goes into x to the fourth, x squared times, and then you distribute x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared, and then you negate and subtract. You get x cubed plus 2x squared, and then you bring down the 2x, so on and so forth. You get the idea? This should give you something nice. It's not too long. It's not too bad. Or should I show you what it looks like? Almost done. So we might as well just do it. x cubed plus x squared plus x. Now we're going to go ahead and subtract uh, again. That's going to give me x squared plus x and bring down the one. Uh-oh, that was easy. Uh-oh, we got the same thing. What does that mean? That means this is a perfect square. Nice. Did you know that? I did. I did know that this was x squared plus x plus 1 squared. But how would you find out? That's kind of not very easy to do. But let's go ahead and explore a little bit further. Well, let's take this. x to the 4 plus 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. And prove that this is indeed x squared plus x plus 1 quantity squared. Okay? How do we do that? Well, first of all, if you realize that this expression can be broken down into what? 
Well, it looks like it's a symmetrical equation, so we might be able to solve it like set it equal to zero, and then maybe from here we can do the following. Divide everything by x squared, and then put these together, and put those together. That should give you x squared plus one over x squared, plus two times x plus one over x plus three equals zero. And from here, I'm hoping to find something nice. Let, let's call this u. This would be u squared minus two, think about it, plus two u plus three equals zero. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to u. Now this gives us u squared plus two u plus one equals zero. And that is actually u plus one squared equals zero and from here we get u equals negative one what is u though u is x plus one over x so x plus one over x equals negative one so again like does that prove that it's the square of that expression yes and no if you look at this very carefully if this condition is satisfied what does that mean from a polynomial perspective multiply everything by x put everything on the same side it means that for these values of x this is true which means this polynomial divides that polynomial, and the only way it can divide is by squaring it because we got a perfect square here. Is that good enough? I hope so. Now, this means we can write the numerator as x squared plus x plus 1 squared, and the denominator as x squared plus x plus 1, so that we can take out one of these, and that should be the answer. All right, so what do we have left? Well, looks like we have, let's go ahead and clean up this area so we can kind of write our uh, findings here. So we got x squared plus x plus one. And remember what x was, I forgot. X was 2024, okay. So this is supposed to be 2024 squared plus 2025. It's not very easy again, but much, much better than the original expression. So how do you simplify that? You could probably write this as x plus 1 squared minus x. I don't think that's going to be super helpful. But anyways, you can still do the result. And let's go ahead and check the result from Wolfram Alpha. Ta-da! That is 4,098,601. And check out the comparisons as well, which are, I think, really, really cool. Like this one is pretty close to the number of arrangements on a two by two by two Rubik's cube, not the three by three by three because that's huge. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. Don't forget to check out A plus B I and bye-bye.